the... Oh, yeah! Stopping it, here we go. Let's get to it, boys! Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our incredibly short third segment here. It's 8.44, we'll try to end at 9, we'll probably end at 9.05, but that means we got 20 more minutes to figure out how this game works. It looks we should like end a at 9.05 in honor treadmill. of game 9.05. Oh, 905 says so okay. There, it's off. But it's too late now. It's back on now. There, it's off. But it's too late now. I like looking at things in these games. What yeah, you do. Output from this device is highly toxic and may cause tyrannical delusions if ingested. <laughs> it must have been Good morning. off. Good morning. But it's too late now. It's too late. <laughs> oh, this is a generator driven by a treadmill. Hmm. Sheriff Meow? No. Oh my god, yeah, she's doing it. Okay, let's try one more. Sheriff, Sheriff. Hey, no, don't rub your face against the whiskey bottle. Sheriff, Meow. Meow. Come here, do the thing. I'm live. I need you to perform. Meow. Meow. This cat is broken. The other cat's just like on point every time. <laughs> Alright, I'm going upstairs. Good. Sharif, don't like it. Rock the cat spa. Dr. Fred? Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, close the clock. Rock I'm gonna go upstairs, because I saw him go upstairs, so any reason not to. The plans! Let me open the ice machine. It's pretty darn cold. Use? No way. There's things in there that look like they've been there for years. Doesn't anyone ever clean this thing? Pick it up? I don't think I can pick that up. Not with that attitude, you can't. Yeah. I like looking at everything. Mm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Squigglies. Beef squigglies. Is it going to be a hot inventory item? It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky moment. Oh, Jesus Christ. How will He's an indie <laughs> developer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he should have said okay, that. That's, that's, that's so fatal. I can't even do this right. Music is so loud. Content warning. Disappearing <laughs> ink. Pick up. Hey! Disappearing ink! Neat! Neat! I look at him. Straight <laughs> shoot himself. Neat. That's amazing. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Oh. Dwayne. Oh. Depressing. Oh man! You haven't seen any plans for a super this battery. Music's really battery. loud again. All this, uh, all this super suicidal battery. depression humor is gonna go over That's really well with our audience. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Listen to this music difference. Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? And listen to I hit F1 again. Wow. That's pretty cool that that's that well synced. Mm -hmm. The stooped shoulders and long face. That's awesome. I'm having a crisis here. A warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty <laughs> goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my design. Sean, don't you have reverse 3D glasses? I no do. Uh, yes, I own those. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. I like your design I ideas. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. <laughs> That's a classic depression. Yeah, right? <laughs> no one wants to hang out with me. I'll hang out with you. I don't want to hang out with you. <laughs> ah! Yeah, no, I totally... Yeah, no, I feel that. You gotta get this guy some Minecraft. Oh, so the, some constructive punching. Uh, 
what are the useful affordances of, of someone, uh, of an NPC who has uh, mental illness? Uh, apparently a gun what with puzzles bang. can he solve for us? <laughs> How can we use him? I can help cheer you up. Oh, I can hardly wait. Maybe some calisthenics would help. <laughs> Last wow. time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Uh, well, actually, I think calisthenics do exercise is as effective as discuss uh, philosophy. low doses of okay, uh, antidepressants. Here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Jesus, like, it, it's so funny that, like, this is the music <laughs> that's playing, and we're talking to someone who's actually depressed and wants to die. And listen to this music. Like, it's just, like, so discordant. Yeah. Would you yeah. say that existence constitutes purpose? Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Nice music they pipe in here, huh? <laughs> it's from the Elevated Classic series. It seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. Never mind. Wow. I can't see it very well from here. I gotta say, I really like this old school design. Like a lot. Green! Bernard! Oh, Bernard! What are you doing up here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, <laughs> I fucking like that does guy. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> What's up, Bernard? I would legitimately you advise you to send the green tentacle and around, to hang right? out with the depressed guy. No, just hey, the domination plans of purple. <laughs> What's up? Any of Fred's plans would probably be yeah. in his office or the lab. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. <laughs> Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Oh, good one. Le Mayo. <laughs> Hashtag How's lawyers, am I doing? right? Green tea and the sushi platter? <laughs> oh, oh God. We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Huh. Which one do you guys want to do? I haven't asked for your opinion at all. Uh, carefully crafted melody and distinctive counterpoint. Carefully crafted on. melody and distinctive counterpoint? I mean, they, they're volume, literally man, all... Volume. We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. I was... I mean, because, like, all of those were literally equivalent setup lines for the joke. Yeah. Volume, man, volume. That's that's actually fascinating construction. Have you yeah. Any okay. Airplane? All right. Cool. Isn't it no, interesting how the speakers look like the green tentacle? Stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. Hmm. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. <laughs> can generate a lot more sound that way. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. I do. Yeah. That's great. I totally yeah. like to hear them. Uh... Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. Why the litter box? Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. <laughs> no, but I did. I already asked. How does like... a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. 
getting back out of it is hard. <laughs> Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. <laughs> well, see you later, Green. <laughs> That's the whole dialogue. Yeah. Conversation Good luck over. Saving the world, B man. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is uh, pretty special. It's pretty small. It's pretty small. Whoa! Pokey I like would that really love so these. much better than the King's Quest Seven solution. Yeah, dude. That's fucking awesome. Who do I talk to? Hey, what's up, Bernard? You haven't seen Dr. Fred's plans for a super battery around, have you? <sighs> no, just these world domination plans of Purple's. Any of Fred's plans would probably be in his office or the lab. Well, see you later, Green. So here's where I just know a solution yeah. to the puzzle. Good luck and save okay. the world, B-Man. Let's do it. Push the on-off button. Wow. This is really high wild. volume. Is it gonna play in the other room? No. Oh, it's gonna knock the fake vomit off of the ceiling. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I wanna. I wanna see what the sounds it's like. It's sticking out. It's sticking out. It's push. sticking out. Wow. This is loud. I definitely prefer this. <laughs> Trying to man spotted its scene. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. Now where did Dr. Fred go? Oh, I'm gonna turn the music off. It's pushed in. Hold it. Whew. 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 Going in. Everything about this game just screams gross out gackalab. Excuse Wait, me. So who are all of these different people? You know, they live in the house, bro. Oh, this puzzle. Wow. I Holy shit. I think I might know how to play the whole game through. Yes, that's right. All right. I knew it. Uh, hey, I'm you down with it. You came to our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice. How's Dr. Fred doing? Um, How's Dr. Fred doing? Is well, she he's monitoring? Still upset about the family like, financial situation, seeing that his mom and all. But he seems like one thousand percent point. Sleepwalking. Yeah, there's some clear monitoring going on in the hotel rooms. How did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. <laughs> the resident genius locked the <laughs> contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers the combination to the safe. I find oh, that's him in the fun. office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven. Again. Oh, that puzzle! Wow, that's right. Really scary. Unfortunately, <laughs> this is I was walked down memory lane. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God! Somebody said the top left monitor is the suicidal guy with the gun. It is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nobody seems to care, and nobody seems to care. Look at that. That's <laughs> just so. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, that loop. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. 
Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery, huh? You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Super battery, huh? Fred might have something like that. Fred is the one who told me to find them. Oh. 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 I was just hey. around your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. Oh, shit. We're gonna, there's going to be time travel. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Eh? Hey. Huh. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't touch! Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't and six touch hydrocoptic marzal veins. <laughs> so, do the lampshades in this room have a fly pattern so that if a fly lands inside the lampshade you won't notice it? I don't really know what they are. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what so, you were doing. Now, I have an interesting piece of trivia. Time, Before your trivia, this Bill. Game, <laughs> this game came out five years after Prozac was approved for use <laughs> In the, with depression in the United States. So this was about the time when people were... were... like, Prozac was a, a popular culture thing, and people were probably just starting to, like, talk about depression. Because this is... When did Prozac Nation come out? Let me, let me just... Because there was no, a while. No idea. I can push this Nurse person. Edna, but look. She grabs and she comes back in. Oh, oh, you got knocked flat on your ass. The book Prozac Nation came out a year after this game. So that was... Hey, that was one of the top... Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Yeah. Why, well, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope. Doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Oh man! So you see? gave up the crazy military commando thing? <laughs> I'm much better now. I don't have God, those those bad thoughts anymore. Hey, see, this whole thing about psychotherapy is also, like, right on point for that time period. Like, this yeah. is when people started talking about that stuff in pop yeah. culture. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? This was also, no. like, I mean, uh, Silence of the Lambs yeah. and, like, uh -huh. all I the X-Files like episodes about, like, oh, it's like some Freudian the thing the that we have to figure out. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, Interesting. just sits there. Mm -hmm. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. What happened to the old what hamster? What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. Now the funny thing is that computer behind him, if I use that, I can play the old Maniac Mansion. Whoa, really? Got it. <laughs> yeah. What was the horrible sound? It was no. sort of like, ding. Oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. But I, I so the the other thing that I'll say though, Bill, is that um, I see in this like a proto psychonaut. Well, hope I didn't get you too yep. excited. Yep. Bye. There's he, definitely he some like interest in this topic here. And digging into it in terms of gameplay. Yeah. Um, this is interesting too, because like I said, I've been watching old X Files, and you can see each monster of the week as they dealt with a pop culture topic. There was one about like Dr. Kevorkian. 
there was mm-hmm. basically there was one about the human genome project. There was one about like why two K. They didn't call it was... exactly. I don't think they called it global warming back then, but I think they called it like climate change. Cl- or no, they called it global warming. That's right. No, we call it climate it, change yeah. now. They called it global warming. Like there's all those little things where like each each topic in the news becomes like a an alien. And I think we're kind of seeing that here too. Like this game was probably actually forward thinking for having any kind of character that explicitly had something to do with depression. Right. Um and like so many things. See, for instance, uh, Huckleberry Finn, if you're forward thinking, then in the future your work probably looks just horrible. <laughs> and like horribly outdated. <laughs> but you have to... Yeah, but that well, only so, happens if you're in that race to start with. Exactly. Like like uh, uh, talking about subjects that the vernacular of the time is not prepared to like talk about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's interesting stuff. Like, um, you know, Eddie Izzard um, had that special, that, like, really popular special. He's a stand-up comedian who is self-identified, at least at that point, self-identified as a transvestite and, you know, wore women's clothes and stuff and has a whole bit about that in that special. Yeah. But I don't, I think the term transvestite is no longer okay. But that was, what, 10, 10 years ago? 12 years ago? But it's again one of those things where it's like now if you watch it it might be cringy, but right, right. Fascinating, huh? I never oh, considered man. that. It's so '90s. I love it. I mean, I'm gonna follow up with something that is not nearly as compelling or deep. Uh, the, Go for um, it. I'm, I'm just, I'm just on my, I have my little detective hat on. Yeah, I mean, like already. I'm having just so many fond memories of playing this game. I think one of the big things that stands out to me is the fact that because everyone is so ridiculous and the idea of a cohesive story is established in the most cursory way. It's purple tentacles Mm -hmm. trying to take over the world and you're trying to stop them and that's it. And that is enough of a simple shell to allow all these ridiculous characters to exist, and no doubt all these ridiculous puzzles. Like, I need the the vomit, the barf that's on the ceiling. And so I had some crazy metal band play while my speaker was knocked over. And that's what loosened uh-huh. And that feels so much more okay than, I am King Graham, I'm here to save my family, so I will use bread on a doorknob. Oh, bread on the doorknob <laughs> made a noise that alarmed the king of the rats who will now undo the chains on the princess who knows how to turn on the stereo to knock it over to drop fake bar from the ceiling that I will use to throw like a frisbee to cut the head off of Mananan. Um, God, that sound that all sounds like so legitimately King's Quest. Yeah. Yeah. But like... like especially the king of the rats with the doorknob. I almost liked it because it establishes ridiculousness in there it makes me want to try ridiculous solutions. It makes me want to not be that clever, but even but like now that I know all the solutions to the puzzles that have been presented, or I should say not presented yet, yeah, they're really heavy-handed hints. Like, I mean, the, talking to that woman who's like, oh, yeah, he sleeps, or because he... Right, yeah. yeah. He doesn't sleep walk open, anymore because he he's... Open, yeah, because yeah, he drinks so much coffee. I only drink decaf. And it makes me go like, okay, I need, to, I need to make him drink decaf coffee. And then he'll go to sleep and he'll sleepwalk. And then he'll show the, the password to the safe. And it's like one of those things that it's, it's just slamming down. Here's a puzzle right in front of me. Maybe yeah. it wasn't that way for you, but like... That is the puzzle. No, <laughs> like no, I to- I I also see it, and it's. I think it's probably it is a different experience for you because you are have that awareness. But yeah. it's definitely like comparing it to a game like King's Quest. It's it is much clearer. Like it's interesting because there are definitely moments like there were moments in indiana jones where i felt like yeah i totally see things that we can be doing um and then there would those all those things would dry up and we would get into like a weird plot zone where 
nothing made sense anymore. Um, yeah. And so I don't know. It's hard to judge like this entire game comparatively based on the first 15 minutes of it. Yes. But so far, it definitely does. Like it's it is it is doing that much better. It is it is presenting something much more coherent. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Me too. So, I like it so far. Would you gentlemen like to play this game next week? Yes. Sure, why not? All right. I, well, I, my only concern is that it's going to be funny enough and smart enough that we won't have that much to say. Don't worry. We'll be out of a job. What we'll do is we'll spend an hour and a half not playing the game. Oh, that's Perfect. clutch. That's a really Perfect. good idea, man. I'm like so it. glad that we thought of that. Well, <laughs> I'm Sean Plot. And I'm still Bill Grainer. I'm Sean Bouchard. Thanks so much for watching. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to do a little bit of Whispers of the Old Gods. Woo-hoo! But for now, please bask in the delightfulness that is this song. Ooh. Ooh. And let me actually add a screen capture here because we got to appreciate this. <laughs> yeah. It's like a time machine back to the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> Those fa the faces are pretty good.